Hello, my name is Colin Riddington and this is another in my series of access videos called Using Access with Isla Dogs. The subject of today's video is how to prevent users copying and pasting text from external sources into access forms. Now, why would you actually want to do that? After all, copying and pasting is a standard Windows feature and it can be very useful in databases. Well, there's a number of reasons. For example, it may well be that you wish to prevent users entering text from external sources which they have no right to actually copy from and which are inappropriate for the database that you're using. You may have some long text fields and there is no easy way of setting a character limit. You can do it via code, although that's the subject of another video, not, I won't cover that today. And you may actually want to prevent them to putting over long text into long text fields as a result. For example, in a database I created some years ago for secondary schools in the UK, one of the features was to actually use the database to create student reports for issuing to parents. The structure of those reports meant that we had to limit the amount of text that was used to 500 characters. Now, when this was first set up, some teachers didn't like the idea of being limited, and they tried to get around that by using Word to create their their text entry and then paste it into the report and the result of that was that we couldn't print off all of their comments and we had to get them to rewrite them something that was not at all popular so we prevented them actually entering the text in this way as a result now how do we actually do that preventing well we need to consider all the different ways that people can actually copy and paste in Windows programs first of all use the right click context menu copy and paste will both appear on there. We need to actually prevent that. We need to make sure they have no direct way of actually entering text into tables. Tables and access cannot be restricted. End users should never have access to them at all. This being just one of the many reasons why not. They are able to copy and paste using ribbon menu items. And they're of course also able to use keyboard shortcuts. Control C for copy, Control V for paste. Now let's have a look at a database that I've created just to demonstrate how we go about each of these things. Fairly simple, customer data form, standard fields here, auto number field, various text fields, a date field there. These, each of these is short text apart from the date field, a boolean field there, and we've got a long text memo field. And I've got standard text, boilerplate text in Latin that I'm going to try and paste into there now. And as you can see, as well as being absolutely meaningless in this context, it's far too long. Let's get rid of that again. Now, as well as just pasting directly like that, okay, I could have actually pasted in like this. I could have gone to the ribbon menu here and pasted in there. And, as I said, not a good idea anyone ever does this, but they could also paste directly into the table here. I'm on the first record here, and let's now close that and refresh it, and again it's in there. Again, let's get rid of that. Now, having shown you how we can enter the text in these different ways, let me show you how to prevent it. First thing I want to do is to get rid of that context menu. I'm going to put the form into design view, go to the property sheet, and in the other tab you will see the shortcut menu yes or no I'll change it to no save the form go back to form view context menu has disappeared when I right click so that's one method blocked next thing I want to do is to try and stop control C and control V I can still enter it in exactly the same way as before at the moment now to do that and I can't actually go to design view now so I'm going to have to do this from the ribbon or from the status bar down here and now you will see if I go to the event tab right at the very bottom there's something called key preview now key preview is again a yes or no value default is no in this particular case it means it's not watching for the keys that are being entered change that to yes and now it will now check what is entered and if appropriate if it's instructed to do so it will take action based on that so going along with that we need a key down event and the key down event I've already created the code here and this says that providing the key preview property is set to yes then it will do the following first of all there's an integer, integer value set int control down key here 
this basically says that if it's greater than zero we're going to take some action now it will become true or minus one if the control key is clicked debug will allow me to see what actually happens here if I just move that to one side a second and now I'm just going to enter a letter just enter the S V there it's set as zero. I didn't use the control key. I'll show you what happens if I do use control key next. Now, if the key is letter V there, if the control key is pressed, then this will be true. It will then show you this message box. Let's get rid of that. Pasting text not allowed on the form. That's an optional message. You don't need to do it, but basically it doesn't actually do anything with the action that I did there. Let's just drag this back again here. I'm not allowed to copy, I'm not allowed to paste. Let's do it again with copying. Do another field this time. Control C. Nope, can't copy text either. So I've now blocked the shortcuts in that way as well. But of course I can still get to the ribbon and I can still get to the navigation pane. In order to deal with them I've got two more bits of code as well. I'm just going to turn off this debug here. In the form load event, I've disabled at the moment, I'm going to enable these two commands. Hide navigation pane and hide ribbon. I won't go into the details of how those work there, but each of those contains some module code and I've got a separate video at another time. Now when I load the form next, the navigation pane will be hidden and the ribbon will be hidden. Let's actually try that now. And the quickest way to do that is to just do a compact and repair on the database and that will effectively restart it. So yes, I do want to save that. And there you go, we've now lost both of those. So I've got no means of right clicking, I've got no means of pasting, I've got no means of getting to it in any other way at all. We've stopped the standard user being able to copy and paste on this database. Let's just summarize what we did. As I said then, there were four different methods that users can commonly use to actually enter data by copying and pasting. So how do we stop each of those? To stop the right click context menu, we've set the form shortcut menu to no. That will only actually apply to that particular form. Each form needs to be handled separately. To prevent the table being accessed and users being able to bypass any code you use to limit their, the way they can enter data, you, you block them actually getting to the table, hide the navigation pane. You also hide the ribbon to prevent them out using the ribbon commands. And to prevent the keyboard shortcuts being used, Control plus C, Control plus V, we use some code and the key preview property as well. It still will allow users to use, for example, Control plus P for printing or Control plus Z for undo, but it will stop those two commands. We can add others as well as we want to, but that's all we've done in this particular case. That's all for now. Thank you for watching, but just a few quick things before we go. If you found this video useful, can I ask you to please do the following. Add a like and leave a comment about the video. It would be much appreciated. If you have any ideas of other topics that you think would be useful for future videos in this series, please leave a comment as well to say what your ideas are. I will consider all of the different suggestions made. And finally, please subscribe. You will be notified whenever any new videos are uploaded. Bye for now.